Now, what you can do with this here is you can take a little bit of the parsley and uh, onion if you like, if that's what you like. But here's what I like to do. Now, this is only for the brave ones, those who don't get a lot of heartburn. I like to kick some of that hot sauce on there, spice it up some. Please, go on and enjoy some. Now, I made this special for you. Yeah. I left the pine nuts out because I know they get up under your bridge work sometimes. Oh, you're sweet. Thank Excuse you. me. <laughs> you, you bucking for General the Salvation Army or what? Stop feeding the moochers. We always have our Wednesday morning sales demonstration, Mr. Damien. No, no, exa that's exactly the kind of thinking that put this store in Chapter 11 in the first place. Now, Mr. Cragen, he's trying to change the culture around here. Have you read this? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Well, then hire another Santa. Of course he has to be fat. Attention, Craig and John Lynch. Today's free Christmas sales are on the second level. Hmm. Difficult. Very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad mind, either. There's talent. Oh, yes. And a thirst to prove yourself. But where to put you? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. And Slytherin will help you on the way to greatness. There's no doubt about that. No? Please. Well, if you're Slytherin. sure... Slytherin. Better be... Gryffindor! <laughs> What do you want? You forgot this. What do you want? To be your friend. I don't have friends. Does Serge know you're here? Does it matter? Do me a favor. Try one of these rose creams. Tell me if you think it's a little heavy on the quintal. about you. He says you're indecent. He says you're you're an influence. You're a bad influence for someone like me. I don't me. have to He's listen like... to a word your husband has to say. What? No. Not Serge. Not Renaud, the mayor. He, he talks about you. I want you to hear this. This man lives his philosophy. Rule one. Life is not a popularity contest. But it is a contest. Boo-hoo, they don't like me. Rule two, you grab that scared little loser inside you and beat the living crap out of him. Rule three, when is enough enough? Enough is never enough. Enough is enough right now, Mr. Adamian. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to tell you what's happening. Why am I even wasting my time trying to talk to you? You know what? I quit. You what? I quit. You, you, you can't. Why can't I? Fourth quarter sales are in the toilet in this store and all the other stores too, for that matter. Your department has the highest profit record in the place. I, I just, I can't afford to lose you. Uh -huh. How come you never told me this before? I didn't want you to do what you're doing right now. Hold me up for more money, which I, I'm happy to pay, as God is my witness. As God is your witness, huh? As God is your witness? I'm not going to talk about Cedric, so if that's why you're here, you might as well clear out now. Come on, come on, let's go. They're just here because they think I'm some sort of freak. Wait, wait. Is it true you can produce a Patronus chime? Yes. I've seen it. Blimey, Harry. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, and he killed a basilisk. With the sword in Dumbledore's office. It's true. Third year, he fought with about 100 Dementors at once. 
And last year, he really did fight off you-know-who in the flesh. Wait. Look, it all sounds great when you say it like that, but the truth is, most of that was just luck. Now, I didn't know what I was doing half the time. I nearly always had help. He's just being modest. No, Hermione, I'm not. Facing this stuff in real life is not like school. In school, if you make a mistake, you can just try again tomorrow. But out there, when you're a second away from being murdered or watching a friend die right before your eyes, you don't know what that's like. Oh, sorry. I'm behaving badly, aren't I? No, it's OK. You don't misbehave here. It's just not done. Did you know that? If you don't go to confession, or if you don't take your flower beds, or if you don't pretend, if you don't pretend that you want nothing more in your life than to serve your husband three meals a day, and give him children, and back him under his ass, then, then you're, then you're crazy. Well, you must think I'm stupid to stay with him. No, I don't think you're you're stupid. Well, I am. I I'm weak. I don't love my husband, and I lie. Mm. Things could be different for you, Josephine. Sarah so doesn't run the world. <laughs> he might as well. You were incredible tonight. <laughs> you amazed us all. And yeah, myself, too. So how is it the two of us never bumped into each other back home? Probably because you're not home that much anymore. Well, Washington is a hard place to resist. Come visit me sometime. We'll see. I'm sorry. But I just can't seem to get past that big flashing for sale sign on your forehead. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. What are you doing here with Craig? I mean, what exactly is it that you two do for each other? I'm helping him over some regulatory hurdles in the committee, that's all. Well, seems like you should be helping some of your own people over some hurdles. I mean, precious little's happened with that community redevelopment program of yours. And nothing ever will happen with that youth center unless I get reelected. Having generous supporters like Matthew Craig is a political reality. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but... I only have time for reality realities. Good night. Good night, Georgia. Working hard is important, but there's something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. Think of it this way. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now. Students, if they can do it, why not us? Expelliarmus! Fantastic, Neville. Well done. So, that's it for this lesson. Now, we're not going to be meeting again until after the holidays. So just keep practising on your own as best you can. And, and well done, everyone. Great, great work. Thanks. Josephine, you look different. So do you. I just want to tell you that I am so sorry for everything. But I've changed. You see, God has made me a new man. I ask you, I, I beg you, please accept my apology. Accept. <laughs> well, I promise, from now on, everything will be different. Everything already is different, Sash.
Well, I mean, when you come home. Thanks for the apology. The flowers are lovely. No, please don't, Josephine. We are still married in the eyes of God. Then he must be blind. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Good. The first time I saw you, I was so happy to see your appetite for food, for life. I'm so sorry. God, though. Does anybody else know? Good. Let's not say anything, all right? Let's just, let's just cook. <laughs> the onions, they make me cry. <laughs> night I got this. Because of her. Because she sacrificed herself. Because she refused to step aside. Because her love was more powerful than Voldemort. Don't say his name. I'm not afraid of the name, Professor. I'm going to tell you something. Something others have only guessed at. It's true. I am the chosen one. Only I can destroy him, but in order to do so, I need to know what Tom Riddle asked you all those years ago in your office, and I need to know what you told him. Be brave, Professor. Be brave like my mother. What are you doing? Leaving. In the morning. Is it because of Armand? That was not your fault. It's time, that's all. Did you believe anything you told me? Did you believe I could be better? Was it all a joke? I have to pack now. If you leave, everything will go back to the way it always was. It is the way it always was. Not for me. Yeah. See, uh, I had that same reaction when I found out I only had three weeks to live. I mean, I tried to keep it to myself for exactly this reason. It's a party killer, ain't it? <laughs> but I did land on that mountaintop. And I ended up on the cover of a ski magazine. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for me, baby. <laughs> Never in my life did I think I would end up in such a beautiful place, doing so many incredible things. I'm sorry if I was, uh, maybe a little too honest with you. But I wasted too much of my life being quiet. I was afraid, I guess. You know how it is. You keep your head down and you hustle and hustle. Then you look up one day and wonder, how did I even get here? Come on, bro. See, some of the things we care about a lot, pretty worthless. Happy New Year, Georgia. Thank you. Dad, what if I had put in Slytherin? Albus Severus Potter. You were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. 
One of them was a Slytherin, and he was the bravest man I've ever known. Could you say that I am? Then Slytherin House will have gained a wonderful young wizard. But listen, if it really means that much to you, you can choose Gryffindor. The Sorting Hat takes your choice into account. Really? Really. Ready? Ready. says I can't use a skillet. <laughs> His skull can't be as thick as we thought. <laughs> it was like sweating a fly. <laughs> oh, the worst is over. He found out what you're made of. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> As for Josephine, she took over the lease at the old cafe and gave it a new name.